Hey everybody, it's Paul from One Cast One Fish, and today I'm showing you how to change out your spark plugs on the Evan Rude E-Tech 150. As always, safety first, so we're going to disconnect the battery. Making sure you have the right spark plug is actually pretty easy. Evan Rude actually put the spark plug model number right on the motor mounting bracket. In our case, our part number is going to be Quebec Charlie 10 Whiskey Echo Papa. First thing we're going to want to do with our new spark plugs is check the gap. And that can be done with a gapping tool from any auto parts store. Be sure to check your manual, but for our Evan Rude 150 E Tech, we want our spark plug gap to be 28 thousandths with a tolerance of plus or minus three thousandths. And again, that information is found right here on the motor mounting bracket. Now we're going to remove the spark plug wires from the old spark plugs. And now we're going to remove our spark plugs. And we want to check the condition of the old spark plug. That spark plug came out of cylinder number one. Our E-Tech 150 is a six cylinder engine, so we have cylinder one, three, and five on the starboard side, and two, four, and six on the port side. Now we're gonna remove the spark plug from cylinder number three. And again, check the condition of that spark plug. And now we'll remove the spark plugs from the rest of the cylinders. Now when installing the new spark plugs, we're going to want to make sure they're indexed properly. When a spark plug is properly indexed, the plug electrode gap is facing the air and fuel mixture. This allows the mixture to ignite more efficiently. Putting our indexing mark on our spark plug is actually pretty easy. We're going to look for the opening in the electrode, and we're going to draw a straight line on the insulator in line with that opening. And we're going to want to do that for each spark plug. Prior to installing our spark plug, we're going to add a little bit of triple guard grease to our threads. And now we're going to install our first spark plug. You're going to want to install that spark plug by hand to make sure nothing's cross-threaded. After torquing our spark plug to 15 foot-pounds, we can see the indexing mark is not in line with the injector pin, which means this plug is not properly indexed. Now the E-Tech does have a generous standard for acceptable indexing. The manual allows for the plug to index within 90 degrees of either side of the injector pin. That means our plug indexing mark can land anywhere within a 180 degree arc and still meet specifications. Now we have two options to fix this situation. Option one, we are allowed to torque that plug to 30 foot-pounds to get proper indexing. Option two, we can pull that plug out and try it in a different cylinder, usually on the opposite side. Now in our case, we're going to try a different spark plug in cylinder one. Now after torquing to 15 pounds, this plug indexed properly. And that's one down, five more to go. All right, and it looks like that spark plug indexed properly. Now we're gonna move around to the other side and do the exact same thing. Once all of our plugs are installed and indexed properly, we're gonna put a little dab of dielectric grease right here on the tips. Now we're gonna move around to the other side and do the exact same thing. Now we'll reinstall our spark plug wires.
and that'll complete the change out of our Evinrude E-Tech spark plugs. Only one last thing to do and that's put our cowling back on.